Hey YouTube, um, I'm way behind in the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Um, summer makes it a heck of a lot harder to get quiet space around me. Um, so it was easier just to kind of decide to play catch up rather than attempt to go up in my room where there's no air conditioning and there's a fan in the window so if I leave the fan on it makes noise in the background so it's just easier just to kind of push it off and play catch up now. So this will be week 31 which is how important are altar tools to you. Um, it's a pretty simple one. I don't think they're all that important. I don't think they're necessary but I do think that they are fun to have. Um, I think they're fun to work with, they're fun to, um, for lack of a better term, collect, because once you have the full setup, it's visually appealing, and a lot of them work really well as triggers to uh, enter into altered states, etc. I certainly don't think they're necessary. I, you have everything on you using your hands because you can have, you know, an a thame or a wand or vice versa. You can have wand and a thame. Um, a cup in your hands, just a cup. Um, five point. Look at that. <laughs> you have all the elements within you already with your blood is water, your body is earth, your breath is air and your spirit is fire which kind of your spirits also spirit um, so absolutely nothing is necessary besides yourself but even then it can help if you want to go into a meditation and do an entire ritual via your mind and make your altar tools um, on the astral plane, so to speak, that's one way to do it. Um, you can easily pick up tools by kind of putting the message out to the universe and then just be willing to accept what's given to you. Go to thrift stores. You can easily find cauldrons and chalices. The hardest part for a thrift store would be and it's all if you really want it to be double bladed, double edged blade. Um, but if you're willing to just use a kitchen knife, my kitchen has a lot of those. Um, and again, you can find those at thrift stores for really cheap yard sales because people have all sorts of stuff. My very first chalice was 25 cents at a yard sale that a neighbor was having, and it was this green. Um, it was a transparent glass goblet that was huge. Um, my daughter got her first chalice at a thrift store for, that one may, may have been a dollar or two. And it's um, sort of a milk glass looking thing that actually I think came from with a floral arrangement in it initially because on the, the underside it says something about a floral arrangement look around your house there's probably stuff you could already utilize you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to have altar tools absolutely not there are plenty of articles around and YouTube videos even where witches have gone to a thrift store to find all their tools just in one go um, sometimes it's just luck of the draw like I went to a it's like a seconds to a thrift store. It's called the Goodwill Outlet. And it, um, sorry, my camera kind of blipped out right there for a second. It's where anything that doesn't sell or they don't think can sell will go to this place called the Outlet. And you would be amazed at the kind of stuff that, that shows up there. Um, I've purchased three down comforters. And it's all by the pound. That's a great thing about it. But I found um, it's a pentacle incense holder. It's meant for cone incense. Um, but it's oh, yay big. I'll show it perhaps on 
another video um, since I'm probably going to do a couple back to back here. I might just go, hey, here's this from week 31 that I mentioned. So, yeah, I think that's really about it. I don't think they're necessary, but they can be fun to have. Um, not going to yammer on anymore. <laughs>